On Tuesday, March 9th, Pope Carolus awoke at 5.30 a.m. He turned on his speakers and he prayed with the fathers in the cathedral from his cell. Dr. Michael Gurgis, he was a cardiologist living at the Patriarchate due to Pope Carolus' heart attack. I believe it happened a few months earlier. But he would examine the frail Patriarch before allowing any visitors in. One by one, Pope Carolus, he would comfort them by saying, may God take care of your affairs. After a few hours had passed, uh, Pope Corollas arrived at the door and asked if any of his children had remained there so he could speak with them. Uh, he lifted up his cross, he looked around the room and said to everyone, one last time, may God take care of your affairs. After closing the door, Pope Corollas, I remember he became lightheaded and he fell. But luckily, there was a disciple there who was able to assist him to his bed and called the doctor. But by the time the doctor had arrived, Pope Corollas had departed in his own words. On the evening of April 2nd of 1968, three Muslim mechanics working on a municipal gar garage located opposite of the church of St. Mary in Zaitun. Around 8.30 at night, they noticed a young girl walking on the dome of the church, and fearing she would jump, they began shouting. She was described as wearing a white robe standing on the dome. It was St. Mary, whose vision reoccurred for some 70 nights over the next 14 months. Believer and non-believer began to ask Pope Kirolos what he thought of the apparition and why he never visited Zaitun. He said he would go to, at the appropriate time chosen by God to pray. And he did not want what he said to influence the people. Pope Kirolos said he saw the mother of light, the peaceful dove, the pure lady Virgin Mary, mother of Jesus Christ at a young age in his house when he was brought up in 1910. The Virgin appeared in his parents' house with luminous attire and her glittering crown on a day she healed a sick person in his home. He said that this incident deeply touched everyone in his family, including himself. His relationship with the Mother of God was remarkable. He would call upon her intercession to heal the sick and help him in times of trouble. It's extremely difficult for us to grieve him but the heart of Pope Carolus was always open to all. His door was always open to the poor before the rich, to the young before the old, welcoming them lovingly and patiently with a smile that never left his lips. History will record his virtues that are seldom granted to others, especially his incredible humility that accompanied him as a solitary hermit. He is immortal, and will not be forgotten. We shall never forget him. The nations will never forget him. He departed in the hope of the resurrection. We ask for the prayers and intercessions of Pope Kirillus VI today. He is truly a figure of great spiritual stature who was immersed in the depth of monastic life and a life of unceasing prayers. His patriarchate was characterized by authentic spiritual thought 
faith, and manifest virtues. The story of this unique man, his asceticism, virtue, wisdom, and profound capacity to disciple, along with the intriguing story of the Church's transformation during his patriarchate, has slowly faded into his tens of thousands of mesmerizing and inexplicable miracles at his hands that have formed the image of Pope Carolus VI. Moreover, those who personally knew him, as much as he could be really known, will unfortunately soon not be with us. And so Pope Carolus, for the next generation, like mine, will inevitably be known only as an icon on the wall for many, as perhaps he already is. But it's no exaggeration to say that there is no figure so loved by cops. His photographs adorn almost every Coptic home, almost every family counts at least one Carolus. So it's a difficult task for our generation ahead, and his importance for the next generation will be a yoke tied to our parents' and priests' necks. I hope today that we have been able to preserve his pious memory. I can think of no greater task today than to unwrinkle the sheets of history of the life of Pope Carolus VI. May his blessings be with us all. Amen.